All right, good evening everyone. I'm Connor Woods. I'm Gavin Moser. And today we're going to be presenting you a product that we developed over the weekend called Orion. Our company helps people charge their mobile devices or devices in general in remote places like when you're out camping, biking, when you're outdoors having a good time. And uh, we do this we, by providing a solar powered charging station. So we recognized this problem that people were <coughs> losing charge when they're outside. They're losing their phone's battery and so other companies have provided like a backup battery, a second battery, but then that loses charge. So our solution. All right. So um, we came up with the Orion Omega and our solution was to create a device that allows your phone to never die. It is a portable power station that carries with you that's solar powered as he had just said, but it's not just powered by the sun, it can be powered by any sort of light, just kind of like your everyday calculator. Uh, any sort of light that it can sense, it's, it's good to go and you plug your phone into it and it's charging. And uh, so here you can see the two USB ports. And so it it's supports anything that is USB supported. So uh, you can support any type of phone. It doesn't matter if you have an Apple device, an Android device, an HTC device, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're actually, we're going to pass around a scale model of the product so you can see how portable it is. It's large enough so it has a really large uh, solar panel on it, yet it's small enough so it's, and, skinny enough so that fits nicely in your pocket and is easily able to carry around. Uh, the top panel is with the solar panel. Yeah, we're going to pass it around. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it makes its way back there. Uh, All right. Uh, no. Oh yeah, and then uh, these tin white dots that you see in our design of the solar panel is, um, they're lights that show how much percentage your phone is being charged. So each one, there's 10 lights, each one represents 10% of your battery. They turn on when there's 10%, 20%, 30%, 10%. <coughs> All right. Keep going. All right. All right, so um, there is hundreds of thousands of companies that have created a power brick like thing for. Um, so we had to take a look at that, a lot of them. But the one that seems to be the most popular, and many of you guys might have heard of them, have their cases or their charging bricks, is Mophie. They are thick and they last a long time, but eventually they will die, and as a result of that, your phone will die as well. But, and the only other company that we could find that has a solar powered charging brick is Waka Waka. But this um, company uses poly PVC, which is the lowest quality of solar panel you can find. However, um, they are a multinational company, and um, when it can find enough light, it will be very successful, but it takes all afternoon for your phone to charge. Um, so, but the difference between their companies and our company is we have an extremely thin design. Um, our solar power, it, we use a, um, a thing called mono PVC, which is the highest quality of solar panel you can possibly get. Um, and as long as there's light, it will work. So. And it just uh, statistics, it has a 22.5% efficiency. Uh, so, we wanted to see if this was actually a problem that people were having and if people would actually use this product to solve this problem. So, we did some customer validation and we went to REI, a uh, bicycling store, I can't remember the name of it, some other outdoorsy stores for these outdoorsy people to see if they take their phones and other mobile devices when they go biking or cycling or fishing or camping with their children and their children drain their phones' batteries. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, and 80% of the people we asked said that they're having this problem, that their phones are not lasting long enough, or if they're going on long, long camping trips, they have to bring many, many full uh, Mofas or other charging bricks to be able to power this, and this is really clunky. We wanted one thing that did it all, right? And uh, so we explained our product to these people and asked if they'd be interested in buying it, if it's something they would use, right? And 90% of the people that we asked said that they would use it. And the other 10% is actually people who like it because it's solar energy and clean energy. Right. Um, so the product cost was a difficult thing to do, but we did break it down by the raw materials of each item that would have to go into building this. So uh, for the solar panel of a three by three and a half inch solar panel would be eight dollars and seventy five cents. Uh, for the two USB ports, it would be twenty dollars. Uh, for additional parts, such as the aluminum that would go into holding it together, would be an additional twenty dollars. 
Now for the manufacturing price, we'd have to double that and add 10% just for, or $10 just for our profit, leaving us at a total pricing of $120, $110, excuse me. And um, if those of you who have experience in buying power bricks, you know that that's probably, that's a relatively cheap price to pay for a power brick. And there, there's some other uh, solar companies that don't work as well that have $120 as their main uh, product. Okay, so you can check us out at Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and I know we're running low on time, so I'm, we're just gonna close it out. Oh, all right, powered by the stars. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions? Let's uh, let's get to the time set for uh, for three minutes. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, questions from the judges. Lisa. Where do your solar panels come from? Well, um, we haven't actually uh, looked into our uh, manufacturing uh, companies yet, but we. Uh, but I would, I would like to say that... Uh, well, we're going to be working with Dragon. It's a company that's helped uh, plug solar and some other companies look for manufacturers of electronic devices. And we were actually, yesterday we were approached by Solar Plug and they were interested in a partnership with us if we were to actually continue on this business. I think John, you were next, and then Jessica. How did you come up with the name? Um, well, we kind of, uh, we just kind of, me and my friend, we're going over there, we're going to do this one. All right, we sat down, and we were, we were deciding, deciding what we exactly wanted to do. And um, so we uh, we knew that this was, we wanted to do, we wanted to do a solar-powered uh, charger for your phone. And um, and so we uh, started researching, and since it was solar power, we started doing names that were like kind of related to the sun and stuff like that. So we, we came up with like Flare and just lots of other things. And then we started looking at like constellation names, and we came up with Orion, and we thought that's kind of a cool idea. And so we just kind of it fit. We designed it on it. And this is also applicable because it uses it's able to use uh, dim moonlight and other forms of light mm -hmm. in the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> All right. um, nice job, really nice job, you guys. Um, one question I had with respect to Waka Waka is what is your plan, if you thought it through, on how you're going to compete with a multinational corporation to scale and get to market quickly? One of the things is that there, there have been a lot of complaints about Waka Waka and the efficiency of their solar panels. Uh, right now, our, what we're thinking is that the quality of our product will speak for itself yeah. and show that this is what you want to buy. I guess. So I was curious how you're going to market it. Was it through retailers? So the REI version of that? And then did you build in discounts in terms of how, because you're going to have to, in a sense, have them pay them to market it for you. Uh, our, <coughs> our original, or uh, what, what we're planning on doing is starting out with uh, online retail and so maybe other online retail sites. We don't want to get involved with really large. Uh, we don't want to get involved with really large companies that require a really large minimum amount of product. So we're going to start and build up our reputation, and then move on to some other uh, larger companies. And if, if, one. Oops, sorry. Uh, and if you look for us on Google, you can actually see that we've already developed and published a website. Last quick question: What are the prices of other competitive products on the marketplace? Uh, there, there's, oh, you can, we'll, we'll tag you. Okay, 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 so we'll, okay, I'll start. Uh, so for, for Mophie, the, one of the world's most popular power brick companies, they, uh, they charge theirs at, like, just, uh, like, their best product at $150. But for their cheapest, only iPhone compatible, they charge it at $75. But for just your average, everyday uh, power brick, it's around $120, $30. And then the products at REI that we have looked at are some other solar charging uh, devices are, uh, the, the lowest one I saw was at 120 as well. Thank you. We'd love to thank Orion. Have another round of applause.